Hi, I'm Rosie. I've been living in Washington with my aunt and uncle for about six years now. I used to live in Southern California in this really dangerous neighborhood. I used to live there with my siblings, whom I live with now, my mom, my grandmother, her boyfriend, and the tons of aunt and uncles. About the time that I turned six years old, I was expected to help out a lot. And by the time to turn seven or eight, help out a lot meant taking over pretty much everything that needed to be done in the house. I took care of all my siblings. I made sure they were dressed, ready for school. I made sure diapers were changed before I left for school. I made dinner, breakfast, lunch. My mom would often lock herself in her bedroom and watch TV and she never really left her room. In the neighborhood I lived in, the people would often say the only way you're getting out of here is through a coffin. For a lot of the kids growing up, it wasn't uncommon to hear that by middle school they were in gangs or that in high school there was drive-bys. It was just kind of very common. It was like a lifestyle. From a young age, you're taught not to have any hope. I just remember one day just being so tired of it and I remember just praying God to like to God to take me out of the situation and that I could just die in my sleep because I was just so done. And so I would just be really disappointed every time in the morning when I woke up and I was still here. I would think if God was just so merciful, like why couldn't he answer like the one prayer or the one thing that I'm asking of him? About a week before elementary school, I was told I was gonna go visit my aunt and uncle here in Washington. And my aunt one day had pulled me aside and said, I wanna talk to you. She started asking me some questions about my life in California and I was like just kind of answering them, like not thinking anything of it. About a few weeks before I was supposed to go home, she told us that we were gonna stay here and she enrolled us into the elementary school here and then went to court with my mother. That was about seven years ago, this coming summer, when I found out that we were moving here. I definitely saw the answer to my prayer. Before I feel like I really didn't have any hope and now I just have a lot of hope in my heart for my future because I know that Jesus want such great things for me and will use my story to do great things in others' lives. Jesus was nothing like the earthly men that had been in my life. Definitely like a God moment that I had when it finally kind of like hit me and I was like, wow.